Well, this is a good, a really good sign that fix -a flat has done its job. Um, today is Thursday. This thing <clears throat> would usually be flat by now. No, no. It's still got airs. You can see me try and push on it. It's all nice and firm. Um, I'll put a link in the description to the website. If anybody is interested in this product. Uh, it's like three dollar four dollar dollar general uh, very very reasonable uh, product or price for the product you get so on with the day man am I ever pleased that that stuff works okay so there's the list that we get to do today um, it's nothing all this is running equipment well if you want to consider running the broom a piece of equipment it's <laughs> technically it is uh, if you stop and think about it but um that's the list and it's uh let's go get started with it i think we'll sweep that building out first then we'll fill the creep feeder get the gravity wagon out air tires grease and set the auger up and or actually after we do the creep feeder will scrape the barnyard because we might have to put hay out we'll do it in that order well now we get to play the manure oh what fun at least it ain't the soupy stuff you want to run the machine huh well let's go you're gonna try and unlock the bucket aren't you Darn you. Boy, them cows just like to play and play and play with anything and everything. Moved them gates around down there and they slid that door there to where it's pulled out away from the building a little bit. And Man, them things just like to play. Be ornery. Yeah, I'm going to go see if I can move that, that auger by hand real quick. Maybe. Well, I was going to go for for that auger on the end but I don't know I think just it scares me being up that high this one here feels a lot safer being down lower oh good grief <clears throat> huh I just have to use the loader to to move it around with I don't know if that's the right way how to hook this thing or not. Uh, I know, at least you don't want to go around this auger here and bend the flighting, but I don't know, maybe I got too much or too, too loose. We'll just have to try it. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and unhook it. And oh, are you kidding me? Things got weight on. Or actually, what I'm thinking about doing, I had thoughts about pushing way out there on the tires. But I think what I'm gonna do is unhook and make this sh longer so I can swing and swing it right underneath that little 
piece of pipe there that we put on this last spring. I think that's what I'm going to try and do. Now the reason why I hooked it like I did was so I could swing this way and get away from that auger. Ow! Darn it. Have to get another hopper. It's a good thing I brought a tractor down and just not my gator. We gotta move this stupid thing out of the way. They can sit outside for all I care. Um, yeah, I'll just put it outside. We'll deal with it later. I don't know. Draw bar in 3010 must be lower than a 4020. I can't get damn jack to go in, but oh well. I don't care. It'll fall and we'll have to bring the backhoe down to, to pick it up. I'm, I'm almost certain of that. No? Well, that's all. Huh. Now, as long as the cows don't bump up or something, then we we'll fine. Come on, baby. Turn, 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 turn. There it goes. Well, there we be. And all hooked up and ready to go. All the tires checked out between 60 and 63 pounds, so I just went ahead and put uh, 65 in them. Uh, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna put some grease in this wagon. Uh, grease these two fittings here on each end. The grease the top end of this here in the bottom down there um, and the tie rods get grease I think not no there's no fitting on them so they don't get grease which I find odd because it's a moving part but oh well can anybody take a guess at what tractor we're hooked up to I got no idea. Or I know what it is, but I'm not telling. Cool, the jack's going up. Sweet. And that's where the thing is going to sit. So I don't have to move it a thousand times. Got the auger all set up. Uh, Dad happened to show up as soon as I was getting ready to unhook it. We slid it over a little bit more. To where that black pipe is did a test fire and a little bit of corn come out of it so we didn't obviously we didn't let the thing run out when we were loading corn out last winter but it happens i hear a lot of clanging and banging but no corn coming out <laughs> 